All right, guys, we are here behind the bike shop, and as you can see behind me, the CTSV wagon is here. Today, we are going to have Big Boy and Maddie drive this thing, and we're gonna get their reactions from it. Big Boy doesn't really know much about the wagon. I told him about it, I told him how cool they are. He's up for it, but he's never driven it. He's never been inside the car and realized what the power's like. So today, we're gonna actually let Big Boy see what the V8 actually feels like inside the CTSV. My little brother has also never driven it before, so Maddie's gonna get his reaction. Maddie loves this thing. He remembers my old one that I used to have, which was really, really fast, but he's never physically driven it himself. Once you're behind the wheel and you actually have the power at your foot, it's crazy. Torque is unreal. This car has 556 horsepower, 551 foot-pounds of torque from the factory. That's insane. That's that's unbelievable. And you get awesome gas mileage at the same time, so it's really convenient. The gas mileage is terrible. That's why I rarely ever drive this thing. And when I do drive it on the highway, I drive it like a sissy trying to get the best gas mileage I possibly can. So today we have Maddie Kramer here. We also have Big Rick. Uh, Big Rick! Uh, Big Rick, dude! Up, up. Rick, dude, what's, what's going on with the bike, man? Uh, well, we got some new pedals put on her because you're at the skate park. I hit the wall ride, and at the peak of the wall ride, the pedal broke off and it set me kind of doing like a wall ride to McTwisty flip kind of thing. That's sick. Into the quarter without my bike. Well, I mean, has, has anything <laughs> like this similarly happened before? Ah, uh, there's a video somewhere. I haven't seen it in a while, but it's out there. We'll find it. We'll <laughs> pop it in right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky is notorious for breaking pedals. It's just, it happens for him. The one pedal just gets deleted. Two new pedals, though. And when was the last time you changed your pedals? Probably like 2009 that's, or 10. Yeah, oh, that's a long time for some pedals. $20, uh, you know what I mean? Got you pretty far. On yeah, that it's one. worth it. Rick, what do you know about the CTSB wagon? It's awesome. <laughs> I love them. What do you like about them? Uh, I love the fact that it's a wagon, so you Correct. put the bikes in the back. Mm -hmm. It's got a supercharged V8, you can Correct. never go wrong with that. Mm -mm. It's insanely fast. That, that's right. It looks amazing. Correct. It's everything that Maddie wants and doesn't have. Correct and correct and correct. <laughs> this dude knows his stuff. He's not lying. <laughs> you remember my old one I had? Of course. Yeah, the thing was great. I yeah. love that thing so much, and I'm so happy to be back in with the CTSV wagon. Once these things go up for sale, they sell immediately. Like, I found this thing. And they didn't even get to put the pictures of the car. They didn't put what color it was. They didn't put how many miles were on it. And I called straight away. That very next morning, I woke up and called. He said that four other people called. And then by the time that uh, the deal was like, when I put a deposit, he said there were seven calls for that car that morning. First things first, we're going to get the big boy behind the wheel. So big boy, let's get up in there right now. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm let's ready for this. it. Seatbelt on. Honestly, the height of the seat is really nice. I'm not going to change any of that. It's got these cool little uh, things that you can pull your seat out to extend your legs. Yeah, don't you be messing I with like that. that. You didn't have it out, so I just landed back. You want to see something really crazy? Yeah. All right. Please don't hit the to... ejecto seat button. No, there's no ejecto seat on button. All right, so you can move my seat. That's fine. No, I'm good. I'm good where I am. It? I'm good where I am. I'm so used with the 240 being literally like this. Like, what's up, guys? This is cool about the Cadillac. It has a button where, like, if you get out and you move the seat, you it can press back. your thing. It's like, zzz, zzz, everything moves. Really? It's cool. Is it just drive mode? That's it? It just goes in and drives? Just, just like that, dude. Should we bring it in the back and do a little rally car driving? No, we're not doing rally car driving. You nerd. See, I don't even know. Like, I don't know what to expect. Like, I don't want to get on the gas. Like, I don't know what to expect. That's the problem here. Should I go right on right on 9 and then right down that definitely road? Definitely right down Route 9. Yeah. Definitely going to go well, right Definitely right down Route Right. Making our first right turn of the day. First right turn of the day. Uh, you know, cruising so far. Cruising so I, you've far. taken me for so many drives in this car that I'm like, I know how it feels well, like driving, I know, I've driven, but you won't get on it. I me. never ever hit the gas while Big Boy was in the car. I've only, I've only slightly done it. Is that a little bit? Yeah, that was like a little bit, but the right. noise was insane. Supercharger's loud, very loud. Right, but why so, does it sound like it's coming from back there? Like well, it sounds like the supercharger's coming from back there. It's because the it's, exhaust. It's uh, one, it's one mad car, dude. You know, it's out the back of the car. Should I go right, then we'll go back that way? Yeah, go make a right. We can pick some people up at the bus stop if we want to in this bad boy. We got room. We can make some. We get Uber with this thing. We could Uber with it. I mean, you know, gas mileage wise. The transmission feels really good though. It, it kind of feels a little bit like the, like I, it feels good. Like what? No, it kind of feels don't like say this. GTR. No, it doesn't. Say that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It just feels like I don't know. It just feels good. Like it doesn't feel. It's concise, dude. It's got good little power, doesn't it? It's good, right? Dude, that's just a little bit. Great. So what we're going to do? We're going to go over here. We have this private road that's up here. Right, nobody around. Nothing on the road. Then we can get loose. 
like an old airport road. Where I could get loose, but you know what I mean? Kind of loose. We'll see what happens. Boom. What's that? Sport mode suspension, man. It's Magnetic ride different. control suspension right there. So there's like these little particles that have like metal flake in it. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. It's been a little while since I checked up on it. But um, you turn the magnet thing on and it draws all the fluid to certain areas. Doesn't let it through, I believe. It's pretty complicated, but you know the last time I magnetic uh, ride control. It feels really good though, it does. I feel like the car like but when you're going slow, like I felt like it make like like if I had to turn into a parking spot I'd be fine. But then when I started yeah. going fast, it stiffened up to the point where it's like it felt like it was more a sports car. You know how it feels to be stuck behind something when you know you got five hundred and what do you say, forty horsepower? Fifty six, man. Don't don't undersell it. She deserves it. What gears in? Second. Alright. Good? Yeah, go ahead. GTR. They put me back in auto, Scott. You're, you're auto now. Woo. What do you think about instant torque? It's something special. <laughs> dude. Oh my god. It's instant, dude. Like the, the automatic transmission kicks in and it's like. I'm pretty infamous for getting into your cars and going pretty quick. Yeah, you are. First time I ever got in your GTR, you Big boy lost his privilege of driving my GTR uh, instantly. <laughs> he puts it in first gear, like literally just starts rolling and I didn't know! Guns it, I didn't know! Guns it! You told not, me to! Not the GTR, that was my first GTR, my first grand one. one. I did not tell you to gun it like that. You had no. it in first gear, barely creeping, and guns it. The thing broke all four <laughs> tires. Boom! The thing great. spun like heck, and then he just immediately shifts the thing. Bam! Yes! All I gotta say is yes. This thing is I was gonna unreal. ask for your reaction. <laughs> That's it. That's all I gotta say is yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Rick, how easy could we get a V8 in the in the in the two the, the two pooty, the two poopy? I don't know. Buy a CTSV. We'll spot everything in. What do you guys say about the torque? Unreal. The torque was instantaneous. Matt, you're gonna poop yourself when you do it because it's really really fun. It doesn't feel like anything other than I've ever driven before. You go grab the toilet yeah, grab it. <laughs> and hand sanitizer. You're gonna need it too. You don't want to leave it on the seats. I got on it instantaneous. My, my 240 can't do that. El Blanco Diablo can't do that. The GTR couldn't do that unless you're in first yeah. grade and you break all four at one time. Definitely did that. But I will say when we were driving slow, it was awesome. The GTR felt like crap to drive at slow speeds. It was so clunky. The transmission yeah. made a ton of noise. It shifted great. The paddles were great. The like little buttons was like. Well, it was more like it was more like. Bah. Bah. Are you feeling good? You ready? I'm good. I put the, I put the okay. toilet paper right, <laughs> right in. Get it. Direct insert. It's going to no be a wiper. lot of fun. Where's the clutch? We're automatic? I'm all about a manual car. You know that. Big boy loves his little manual Daniel, okay? <laughs> manual <laughs> Daniel. Oh, it's all electric. <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, man! This is what NASCAR feels like for sure. It's a wagon! I'm 100% positive. I can promise this you this is like. not what NASCAR feels This is what it looks like. <laughs> dude, look at this thing, man. It's like a dark horse in hell. Yeah, yeah, dude, that accord. Oh, it's, it, it, the cord thing. would smoke it, but it's, it's a different day. You guys like, wow, I didn't even do that. <laughs> I hope you have really good insurance. <laughs> There's so much luxury in one vehicle, I love it. It's a 2014. So there's not a ton of technology in it. I mean, there's a lot of technology What's in it. I feel like it, it feels smart, smart though. I'm looking at, what are all these buttons for it? Put it in two. Oh, I can actually just, oh, uh, am I? Is that two or one? Two. Okay. Two, it's like two, like fast one. Two second. You'll have to, you can, you can shift, you don't have to let off the gas when you shift. <gasps> you oh, that is like my car where you have to. You're not supposed to sit out. You're not to press them. <laughs> I thought you're supposed no. to let off of your ships, are you not? No. <laughs> I don't know how these smart cars work. There's a NOS button for sure. You're hitting the NOS button, aren't you? <laughs> I feel like I'm a rocket ship taking off. Like, this is what it feels like to go to space. If this minivan wasn't cramping my yeah. style what right now. We in? Three. All right, put it in four. You can always come back down. Even four is fast, Scott. I'm fine oh, with that. You're gonna get torque anywhere. This is a uh, this is great. 551 foot pounds of torque. It's insane. My my WRX is close, right? You have, I believe. I think it's, it's gotta be 568, right? I believe you have like 260, maybe 20 foot pounds. <laughs> That's the I believe. A couple more numbers are at 500, right? Hey, old lady. <laughs> Nothing to see here, darling. Hey, how are you? 
Oh my god! Body like a back road driving. Oh my god, dude. This thing doesn't stall out, right? Mm -mm. So this is a big boy's road where he got the. It's never ending. Never ending. Oh my god. So what do you think about the power of the CTSV right now? This is literally the most incredible car. I've never even driven it and I loved it before. Right and now I really love it. Oh hey bike shop. <laughs> <laughs> get the work for big boy. I'm here! Heated seats, cool seats. Air conditioning seats. seats, you feel you it, got it all. You want a little breeze in the pants, dude? I got you. Hook me up, man. I got you a little breeze in the pants yeah, right there. Yeah, I feel it. It feels like I'm just constantly farting. <laughs> 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 Take the V out, get behind a tractor. Well, guys, we're doing a whopping 25 miles an hour right now yeah, in the V. 25, it's nice though. It's cruising, you know, it's comfortable. We're dropping Drop behind a freaking bulldozer, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's doing. He's got a, he's got a plate on it. He's cruising now. Usually legal. they did way slower than this. All right, guys, All right, let's so see the power. Ready? What do you think? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. What so it? smooth, too, though. <laughs> smooth, fast power. The thing is, it feels incredible. It feels amazing. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> Have you ever driven a V8? I drifted one V8, yeah, and it was it was a lot of fun. It wasn't it's a supercharged V8, yeah, but it was a V8, yeah. V8 is something else, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, you know me, Scott. I'm not just putting a V8 in the L240 and going and going drifting, you know? It's going to have a turbocharger or a supercharger on it. Of course, it's going to be so. a turbo V8. After this, supercharger might be the way to go. I mean, do people, is it common <laughs> that people do, like, supercharged and drifting? Like, they do a lot of pro charge right? stuff. Make a right at the green light, right? You see, there's yeah. the green sign. They do a lot of pro charge stuff in drifting because then you can still run a nice intercooler so you don't overheat yep. while drifting. So I'm just saying, Scott, when you're ready, mm -hmm. you know, we can always step the power game up a little bit. Listen, dude, I'm already thinking about it, man. I'm just saying. As, as crazy as it is. I know a know? guy that knows a little bit about cars yeah. and has a shop at his house and, like, <laughs> we can make some stuff happen here. When I had my old V a while ago, yeah. I bought the exhaust cutouts, the electric cutouts. So you still have it. I still have them. I yep. just never put them in. I got them. I got him about two weeks after I got rid of my D. All right, guys. Well, that's it, man. Got the boys to experience the V because this car is amazing. Not only can you fit everything in it, but you also have a supercharged Corvette engine underneath the hood. So I love this thing. I'm so excited about the future. Ricky's already talking about what we need to do to it, just yeah, like man. that. He drives. He's like, this thing's really fast. But so, guys, that's going to be it. Look forward to more CTSV videos. Um, until next time, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Peace.